And all right, here's the sulfuric acid cell set up. Got my lead cathode over here, lead anode right here. Got copper along the top here. Positive lead, negative lead goes to battery charger. And this is what we use to strip gold off of the gold plated items. Here's a copper basket with gold in it. We're going to strip that off and set it in here, touching the lead on this side. You see the instant reaction over there of the other piece of lead. And eventually the reaction will work its way over to the gold. I just cleaned this out so it's really clear. You can see when this cell gets full it's completely black liquid. You see the gold starting to react and strip off. When it comes off, it comes off as a black powder. See the liquid already starting to get a little dark from how clear it was. I don't know how well you can see that, but the basket in there. See the now it's running at about five amps. And as that goes down, that means the gold is being stripped. And it takes a few minutes to do that many pins at once. We've got clips set up here to do larger pieces. And be careful not to overload the charge. You can blow the fuse on the battery charger, so you can only do so many at a time. As long as there's still bubbles being made out of the copper basket, there's still gold being stripped. You can see our charge just dropped a little bit. Here was the starting material we had in it. it. Was these pins? These pins all had springs on them. I had to go through every single one of these and pull the springs off. <laughs> and these uh, connectors we were looking at, and we thought might be solid, but they're not. They're you'll see here in a minute. It's uh, just thin gold plating over copper. Still getting a reaction. Still covered, still got some gold plating on there. A lot of pins in that basket, more than I normally do. It's taking a bit longer here. The 
Let's take a look at what they're doing here. See they're starting to get stripped down a little bit. Still quite a bit of gold on them though. Put it back in and let it finish. You see the clear acid filling up with gold particles. Still quite a bit of reaction going on. We're still up around 5 amps. I'll drop down to zero when it's done. This thermometer here tells me how.